Hey guys, um, I just wanted to take this uh, little opportunity to thank all you guys because apparently I'm at over 100 subscribers. Yay! And um, that might be a whole lot less than you know profiled YouTubers see, but I don't care. I think that's pretty awesome, and you guys are awesome. Anyway, um, the original reason for me doing this video is that I wanted to do a little after action report on a game that I played in um, war games, uh, specifically me, um, Essa, and Evil Koala played this game. And um, I've been wanting to do a war games video for a long time because I really enjoy the game. And I think it's something a lot of people should look into because it's a really interesting game if you're into this sort of thing. Um, so basically, the object object of the game is to destroy your enemy, at least in this game mode, and um, all of these zones that you see that have a numeral value uh, mark the strategic income you get from seizing one of those objectives with a command vehicle that can be either a um, like a tiny little UAZ jeep. Apparently there's some sort of commander in there. Uh, or it could be um, a command helicopter or a command armored vehicle of some sort. And um, each player starts his round by... Oh, that was loud. Um, each player starts his round by uh, distributing points and buying stuff. Uh, for the allotted points, that's something that can be set in the multiplayer menu. It's a, var a variable you can tweak pretty much however you like from a limited amount of points to a uh, to a uh, kind of large amount of points. And uh, essentially, oh, I didn't realize this hide HUD button was here. Hmm, they must have added that recently. Good on them. Um, the where's oh where's the hug gone now oh there it is um let me speed this up just a little bit okay so uh you can communicate across players uh by using flares which is something I've always really loved I love it when games add stuff like this it'd be even cooler if they had the ability to say draw lines or something like that that'd be even better but um. We were on TeamSpeak as well, so it was a lot easier to coordinate the defense since we could do it uh, via voice communications. Um, and originally, uh, originally here, um, I started out on the left flank, and I was going to go for a for an option where I seize this rather large forest forest area right here. And didn't really try to move any any way forward from there. Uh, this game caters very much to either a solid defense <laughs> or a very solid offense. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it'll become apparent shortly. So right now I'm doing this out of a neutral um, a neutral point of view, so I can see everyone's units. I can see. Uh, the enemy's units the same as mine. And my initial strategy that I like to employ in this sort of game is to uh, send out uh, helicopters with special forces guys, specifically re reconnaissance guys, send them to whatever flank or whatever axis of movement I plan to use because they, A, provide um, accurate reconnaissance as to what type of units the enemy is using and uh, they also kick a lot of ass. Like there's a lot, they can deal out a lot of punishment under the right conditions, ideally then in forests and stuff like that. And um, if you know your unit designations, you can tell that I'm about to run into some trouble. The problem is I don't really see it yet. Um, and here I'm starting to go, oh god, oh god, oh god, something is about to go really, really wrong. And, um, 
Let's just hide the hut for this. Oh. And they suddenly hear all the alarms. Oh no, Huey down. Anyway. Um, and so that sort of capped off my initial my initial movement there. Uh, he shot down one of my Hueys, shot down the other one. Uh, five, five Delta Force miraculously sur survived the crash on both sides. A very symmetric number. Uh, and then these APCs start engaging the uh, start engaging the helicopters, which is really good. I love APCs specifically for this reason that they're not completely defenseless against helicopters, although as you can see, they don't really fare too well. Um, and of course he has an entire, his main axis of advance, his whole movement is going exactly in this direction, which really does not gel too well with mine, because my advance is rather limited and my whole uh, main body of advance was to come up, or rather my main force was coming up this way, and that really didn't cater too well um, to his whole assault coming in through this direction. I think we do manage to take out this helicopter. Yeah. Oh, we managed to take out both of them, actually. Um, and so now I've got some some scattered Delta Force. I think these, yeah, these are all intact. Turns out he had spent snaz in the uh, in the helicopters. So now this situation is pretty much fucked for me. Like the only the only thing I I could do from there was to consolidate and try to hold off as much of his force as possible because I still didn't, didn't still didn't actually know how much was coming because I didn't really have that. Um, like you see, I only see the four BTRs. I don't really see any, anything else. But he's still got a rather sizable force that's on his way well, on his way down here. And for some reason, I'm just sitting on my ass here, and I'm thinking, hmm, what do I do? Um, his whole body of advances. I need to stop saying that. His whole advance has come down from that direction, and here I am, pretty much sitting on my ass, because I think what I primarily thought was the fact that most of these guys are not really equipped to take on whatever he may choose to harbor in his main uh, base area. And as you can see, these Famas guys, they they hold off. I want to say till death. Um, and I've also ordered some reinforcements so that I can, if they choose to push their advance along this road right here, I can at least um, I can at least try to hold them off. Although I was halfway expecting them to, to keep pushing all the way down. Um, and the problem is when r units are routing, they pretty much do not respond to orders at all. They just stay where they are, or rather lie down where they are, um, and don't listen to orders orders at all. And uh, so these Delta Force are moving back into the forest, um, and they still can't see anything. Most of my force over there is completely shattered. Um, and this would be when I decide, screw it, I'm just, I just figured most of his forces had to be expent, so, um, so I pretty much chose to attack his main, his main base area. And again, as you can see, I don't really have, these are not good tank destroyers. Uh, these toes are decent tank destroyers. Um, I can't quite remember what I had, and that's I think I had a, a scout unit in that uh, APC. And these Delta Force are getting worked over by the Shilkas. Those, are, those guys are gone. And as you can see, my reinforcements, for some reason, have chosen not to take the road, but to just travel through the. Eh. I guess it makes 
the difference. Um, and I think it's at this point I'm starting to realize that, wow, he really doesn't have anything in that base except for four T-72s in the back that, first of all, my um, BTS-1s are completely useless against. Completely useless. Then I move a little bit forward and I see that, wow, I've just captured that bomb. So there's no units around it and my toes uh, start launching their missiles towards the uh, T-72s and wait for it, all miss. Um, the first generation of anti-vehicular uh, anti missiles in this are really bad. Unless you fet them up or something, they were pretty much all just assuredly miss. So, uh, yeah, food for thought. Um, but I figured, hey, I have them parked right next to a fob. Eventually, eventually they gotta make it, right? Four, four missiles, four T-72s, two hits, pretty decent. And as you can see, they pretty much just one shot at those T-72s. Here we go again. There we go. So, this is why I actually really like these kinds of units, because they're inexpensive, and if you're lucky, they can pretty much hold off an entire armored advance. Um, they're even better if you vet them. As in, you can purchase them at the start with a higher cost for a little bit of veterancy, which they will gain during combat anyway. Um, so there it is. Uh, his T-72s are gone. Uh, the BTS-1s are saying, screw that noise. And at this point, I kind of realized that he's got to have a command vehicle pretty much in this forest somewhere, or here, if you're a smarter place to put it. But, um, because the command vehicle is, um, it's very neat to hide it in a forest of some sort, so I figured that's what he did. And at this point, <laughs> the makeshift defense of this flank is up, but he chooses not to press his advantage, which is a really bad decision. At this point, I really don't understand what he's doing because he's not really ordering any units. Oh, well, except for that MI-24, um, which is going to get to be bad news for me eventually uh, because those toes, obviously, they're basically just, you know, they're guys on jeeps. They don't have a whole lot of armor or anything. So um, as soon as that shows up, it starts raining hell down on my guys. And one thing I always like to do is I always like to keep a uh, high amount of, um, a high amount of Stinger missile uh, infantry around with my in general infantry is a decent mix there. And here comes his slight attempt at a counterattack. Um, BTR 70s. I believe my guys will quite handily destroy. And as you can see, our group of three as a whole has been very, very aggressive and decisive. We've managed to push them back. Um, they have, they have some pretty. Uh, concentrated points of defense right here, but as you can see, uh, one of the players is oh, and there's somebody surrendered. But as you can see, some th one of the players is actually pouring artillery fire into the uh, into their hard points, which is eventually going to wear them down. Um, and at this point, I've taken out the command vehicle in here, and these. Uh, this helicopter and these BTRs is the only hostile contact on this side if you exclude this advance over here. I assume the reason why this advance just suddenly stopped was because he was preoccupied with sending units from either over there to get me here or I don't know.
maybe he's, he was too busy microing the helicopter. I don't know what the deal was. But um, the point was, that assault did not come. I, I actually reinforced this side um, quite a bit, but um, seeing what he had in there now, I'm actually kind of happy I didn't choose to press the, uh, press the attack once I had more units. Um, and eventually, one of these little stinger guys is going to make it over to be able to fire at the helicopter and hits it. That's eventually going to go down. Um, and then there's a rather large counterattack. Although T-55s suck. Just heads up. Just If you can avoid using them, please do. Because they're generally really bad. They're good for they're good for uh, cam fodder and to keep, I guess, firing away from your regular forces. I guess. Um, problem is in this case, I didn't really have a whole lot to mount against those T-55s, except for my um, except for my dragon crews and stuff. And those, those guys were able to inflict some damage. And, you know, Delta Force just straight up throwing hand grenades towards tanks. Why not? Look at those guys. Heroes. Every last one of them. You know, their grenades are about 50 yards short, but whatever. And... So I think at this point, yeah, he takes back the fob. And uh, honestly, oh, yeah, and I bring a bring up a Cobra. Didn't move that Kyle forward. Should have done that. Um, but as you can see, all he has on this side now is just purely armor. He can't, well, and that helicopter. He can't bring, that's low on everything, and damage. Um, he can't bring in more units along this reinforcement route because he has no command vehicle in it. And uh, the only sort of thing he has going for him right now is the fact that he has a fob up here. But then again, I guess you could say the only thing I have going for me right here is the forest. Like most of the infantry is completely routed or broken. But then my Cobra comes on station and it has clean line of sight on a lot of units down there. No anti-air. So it's gonna launch a rocket that I'm assuming will probably miss. Does it? No, it doesn't. Wow. Amazing. Usually uh, when you buy unvetted uh, uh, stuff like that and they're uh, launchers are not even with the Hellfire uh, missile rookie Apache pilots will actually miss it in this game which I don't understand how they can actually pull that off even since they fire into the gas system whatever um, just a general update on the middle state of affairs middle to right uh, as you can see there is a lot of um, there's a lot of indirect fire going on. There's not there's not really a whole lot of direct contact just because of the fact that I think um, my the guys I was playing with at this point realized how much stuff the enemy had in forests and didn't really want to directly assault them as units in forests have huge advantages. Uh, especially infantry. Infantry are deadly for forests. here that could have been used to assault this a little bit easier. Um, oh, and I also bring up, uh, no, I actually get help, I don't think so. I bring up a second Cobra, um, one of the players that I was playing with, Essa, brings up a uh, heavy hog to help me take out the um, armored units. And Cobras, once you get them in a little bit closer, they can use their Vulcans, speaking of which, um, 
aren't really as effective as the Apache's 30 millimeter, but as you can see, we get stuff done. And um, these guys are going to get ambushed as they go down this road. Yeah, because I actually think they make it as far as my French infantry over here. Alright, um, so what's left? Scattered infantry in this forest. Whole lot of stuff over here that I wasn't really in a position to help with. So we can speed this up just a little bit. See what happens. I think I was toying with the idea of pushing in here, but it didn't never really worked out for me. I think I might have sacrificed some men uh, probing that side. Stupid idea, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, here comes uh, his units trying to get back. That doesn't really work out too well for them. Remember what I said about infantry and forests? That MI-24 is still just sitting there, not doing anything. The Spob still had resources in it. I don't understand why he didn't resupply it. Whatever. So this was one of the few little assaults that I chose to try to mount on this side. And as you can see, infantry and forests are pretty badass. Um, nothing to mess with. that beacon was, I think Esa might have thought that there were units there or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to speculate. I can't remember what that flare specifically was for. So he tries sending in some, um, some anti-aircraft artillery, and luckily my guys see it. Hmm. I could have sworn they take it out, but they don't. Okay. Uh, so now we're in kind of a stalemate. I have pretty much no resources up there whatsoever. Another u another guy quits, and the reason why I have no resources is because we don't have enough uh, income. So I choose to send a uh, command armor up to Delta, securing that, which should grant us some more points. At this point, my uh, Cobras are back up, sending them over there. see. Kind of a recon Kiowa just to see if I can see something, but then now I realize there's a hill between my Kiowa and what I want it to see, but I was afraid of um, anti-air because I realized he had some. Oh, and I, I feel the need to point out this one genius move over here. Um, one of the players on my team chose to send a unit, um, or many units, of Chasseurs for Moss. Um, right up the enemy's uh, line of reinforcement, which is a really smart idea because they're really inexpensive units and they will kick ass once you put them in forests. That T-80 uh, was practically destroyed by the time it came, came down. And now I've chosen to get up some some mortar carriers, which I really love. I love mortars because they're so damn accurate. Like I just targeted this general area, and you can just tell that they're having good effect on target. Like pretty much all the infantry are now dead. And they also have a pretty devastating effect on morale as well. So, uh, if you're playing this game, I don't really 
I don't really use long range artillery um, because I don't like the inaccuracy of it, but I enjoy having um, a set of four mortar carriers up close to where the fighting is going on, being able to provide accurate fire. I try to help these guys out. I thought there was something in that forest. Apparently there wasn't. Good to know. And um, let's speed this back up just a little bit. So this is where I once again try to assault this little area. Works out a little bit better for me this time. Almost friendly fire my troops. And those I just walk right past those infantry. That's kind of funny. And here he chooses to send up a command armor that I think one of us sees. Um, well, we can't have. I just source out where one of those command vehicles are and I take that out. So now, even though he sent in that pair of reinforcements, he can't send in any more. So that's something. Um, and there he tries to move his command armor, uh, runs right into the AMX, and the game is over. And here you can see, um, here you can see the overall distribution of kills and um, points and stuff. Um, Essa had by far the most kills. Um, I ended up a solid second, and uh, I also took the most casualties, probably because of that failed flank on the left. Um, okay. So that was my after action report of this game. Uh, if you are into strategic games, RTSs like this, I would very much advise you to uh, try it out. This is a very good game. And um, what I like about it is the fact that it seems like, uh, it seems like gra bolder moves and moves in general that should work, uh, do work. I can't really, I can't really explain, like, to me, it, it sort of strikes a nice middle ground between uh, between a uh, company-level strategy game and sort of a uh, Rome or, or Total War series type of control, which is something I've wanted for a long time in a modern strategy game. And if only you could combine this with sort of a um, Total War type strategic map. I would really enjoy that game. I would play the hell out of that game. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you like this kind of content, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.